we talked about the hose going on to, to this part of the, the fitting and it does the hose will slip on and there are several ways several clamps types that will hold that hose on there if you don't clamp it the pressure will push the hose right back off now and around here we normally use what they call a center punch clamp let me get a little smaller one here and make it easier center punch clamp you have the hose you slip this over the hose and then you have a, a little handheld machine that you ratchet this hose up to tight or you ratchet the clamp up tight and it squeezes the hose onto these barbs. It causes the hose to bite into the, or the uh, fitting to bite into the hose so it doesn't leak. Now, like I said, we use these, but there's also, to use these, you have to have a special machine, uh, tool and uh, uh, that the tool will just ratchet it right on up and then you can take a hammer and drive it into there and put a center punch. Once, once you get a clamp tight, the machine or tool has a pin that you hammer down on and it makes a pin point right through this metal and allows it not to come loose. Then you just break the end of it off and you're set. We normally put two on each hose just for the safety factor of having it on there. And, uh, but there are other types other than, uh, if you bought the tool to do this, you're looking at a hundred to hundred and twenty dollars for a tool. And if you don't use it all the time, like a company would, uh, it may not be worth it to you. The, uh, the other way of putting it on is still with the clamp, but this clamp is a little bit different. And then all you have to have is a ratchet and a socket or a screwdriver. Okay. And it's just a standard hose clamp. You can buy them at any hardware store. Don't want to tell you you have to buy them from us. Uh, but you just slip it on over there and tighten it down on it. And then you can remove it if need be later on to cut the hose or something like that. And you want to splice it, you can do that. Again, this particular style, this is a, a E style. And this E, it always is built with the hose bar, so it'll slide into the hose. And this is the E style, and it has the male end on it, and then the hose bar. The C style has the same thing, because it goes in the other end of the hose. It has the same bar fitting, but it has the clamp on it, so that other fittings can go into it. So E and C are the most common ones that are used, especially when you're running a string of hoses. Uh, the hoses, normally like a suction hose, you normally won't go over 20 foot on the suction. Uh, it, it'll burn your pump up if you try to pull too much of a head on it. So anyway, if you nick one or something, you can cut it. Take the clamp off, slide it back in, put it right back on. No sense in buying anything else to do it with. And what you've seen here are all aluminum. Uh, we also make, they make a poly, a stainless steel, and a brass, which I believe I told you early on. But you should not be hooking a stainless to a brass or an aluminum to a polypropylene, that should be the same type of fittings. Uh, in some cases, it can cause an erosion factor on uh, our chemical reaction. It'll mess up one end and not the other. So if you've got the same material on both sides, you don't have to worry about it. And we carry all of these. We carry about 16 different adapters uh, to for you to go from one size hose to another, just about any way you want to work it. Uh, we carry them in stock. All you have to do is uh, give us a phone call uh, or email us. Uh, look on the website. You'll find our website. You can actually order through the website. And we try to ship it out the same day. But sometimes it takes us an extra day, depending upon the order. But we'll certainly get it back to you same day and let you know what we're doing.